We want to go back to Kent County now. Jeremiah Brown is at DeVos Place in downtown Grand Rapids, focusing on the city's mayoral race. Jeremiah, you had the chance, I understand, to sit down with Mayor Rosalind Bliss, the current mayor of the city who is term limited this afternoon. What does she have to say to you? I did. We're actually at the county clerk's office right now, and Mayor Bliss earlier, she told me today feels honestly pretty surreal for her. But real quick, we wanted to just say that we have seen um, election information from Rockford come into the clerk's office just a few minutes ago. And now back to the mayoral race here. David Legrand is currently in the lead with more than 68% of the vote so far, and Sunita Lanier is currently around 30%, and that is with the partially reported data so far. Now, both both candidates have been talking a lot about the uh, talking a lot about really similar issues equity and development between downtown and the outer neighborhoods transportation Lanier has been clear about wanting to diversify means of transportation to kind of shuttle people from downtown to the neighborhood business districts Legrand has wanted to have conversations about building wealth in the community among the most marginalized. Both of them have addressed issues in housing, supporting um, rental caps, and also Lanier discussing um, community agreements that she has seen develop. And Legrand has also been very clear about building more housing, help small and local developers build multi-unit housing in the area. Now back to the current mayor, Rosalind Bliss. She has until the end of this year, and I spoke with her earlier today, and I asked her about what has been her biggest memory and the thing that she's most proud of in her almost 20 years of service to the city and she said that's a really hard answer for her to give you know it's so hard for me to pick just one uh, because I've worked on so many issues across the board and I'm still working on issues right now I, I remind people I'm mayor till the end of the year uh, so I'm in the midst of of this hundred and a hundred initiative where we're trying to get a hundred hundred individuals who've been chronically homeless housed in 100 days. We've done a lot of work around homelessness in our community, started a homeless outreach team, have worked with the county and supported the crisis stabilization unit, worked with community rebuilders to rapidly rehouse folks. Um, so I feel good about some of the work we've done in that space, clearly more to do. Uh, public safety, you know, we have invested heavily into violence prevention efforts in a mental health co-response team. We've seen our uh, crime stats improve. So we've seen a reduction in overall crime in the city. Uh, we've done our, our community surveys and we've seen progress across the board as well. Uh, I'm really proud of the work we've done around investing in trails and parks and green space and playgrounds for kids. Uh, and then you look at some of the work and developments downtown from the river restoration to the river's edge redevelopments to the amphitheater and soccer stadium, all of those things I think everyone should be proud of. And you spoke a lot about the number of projects that are taking place right now from downtown to the third ward where we're seeing a lot of developments in the spheres of education, housing, and these are all things that she's really hoping that the her successor will continue. She's told me that this year she's been to a lot of groundbreaking ceremonies, but it's her successor who's going to be at those ribbon cutting ceremonies. She gave a very heartfelt message today. We're going to have this full interview on our 13 plus app later this week. And I'm going to take it back to you guys, Juliet, live from downtown Grand Rapids. I'm Jeremiah Brown, 13 on your side. So